Hey everyone, Tim the Collect Jurassic. We have a huge unboxing today from Toy Monster International. Want to thank them and Playwise Partners for sending along this huge, huge box just full of so many cool Jurassic World Dominion toys. There's almost too much to take in. We have all of these uh, captives eggs, which I'm sure you've heard about. Um, they've been coming out for a while. I think this is the maybe the third or fourth wave of them. And I've uh, I think I've unboxed some on the channel or at least on Instagram before. But there's a whole new wave for Dominion. We literally have a whole case pack of them not sure i'm going to be unboxing every single one on camera because that would be a really long video um but i also have these um these dino surprise eggs there's this one that's a super sized figure there's also this massive egg that has like a bunch of stuff inside the exclusive dino three other dinos all kinds of stuff um uh i mean those things right there that would be enough that's enough to get excited about but they also sent me this collector case that comes with an exclusive figure and has all these cool like scenes on it that i can't wait to get out and then one thing i'm really excited about is this uh mr dna's dino dig and discover set we got the t-rex on here um and not only do you get a t-rex skeleton you get to a dig but there's like a hidden movie prop you can get like a goat or a toilet all kinds of fun stuff it's crazy um it's really cool kind of easter egg to jurassic fans in there so so much stuff to get out i can't even like i can't even wrap my head around it i hope this video doesn't run on for too long because there's a lot of stuff to check out but let's go ahead and start with one of these eggs if you're not familiar like i said earlier um they've been doing these uh slime eggs uh toy monster for about maybe a year or two now um and the first wave was like australian exclusive uh and then the the second wave the, I think they were called the, the Cretaceous eggs. Those showed up here, and then they did the uh, the Clash edition, which those waves have shown up here too. So um, they're always kind of adding a few new sculpts every wave or repaints or things like that. Um, but um, in this case, uh, there's a lot more new sculpts in this Dominion wave. But I'm hoping I am I uh, unwrap one right now. Um, this thing's gonna make a lot of garbage and a lot of gross slime too. Um, I know kids, these are for kids, not for me, but I do not like the slime myself. I think it's kind of gross and messy and, and, uh, mainly messy. Um, oh, wait a minute. Did they change? Oh, they, they changed it. Oh my gosh. Maybe I will unbox a bunch of these now. This will be easy. So it turns out that the, uh, the slime now comes in a little bag. See this biosyn slime? I love it. They used to like um, soak these figures in slime, but I guess that's not the case anymore, which I for one am happy about because now I don't have to, I got this container and a paper towel, all this stuff to help me clean up slime. Um, it looks like that's not gonna be necessary now. So we can open up a bunch of these things if we want to get, uh, see what new figures we get. So first one open is what I get. Ooh, Parasaurolophus with some wild colors. Um, you know, th this is a repaint of a one that already came out and I was going to do, um, comparisons, but again, I, there's a lot to unbox here. So I feel like I'll never get through this video if I am, do comparisons. So Parasol Office was my first pull. I love the, the blue color, blue on gray, really nice. Let me see if you get a good view of that really nice detail on these all things considered um they're they got a little more detail than mattel's um, mini dinos for sure um and the paint is hit or miss sometimes it's really really detailed and sometimes um well no matter what it's always more detailed than the mattel figures um there's some really good paint apps on these you can see the full wave here we'll go ahead and unbox a couple more and see how far we get and then i'm going to see if we can unbox some other toys but you can see there's giga Therizinosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Atrociraptor, all kinds of stuff um, on here. And they all come with this little battle token too. There's some kind of game you can play with them, but um, I have not played the game. Obviously, I'm just I'm just here to collect dinosaur toys, right guys? Um, so let's go ahead and open up another one since it was easy enough um, to do. In fact, I think that was the fastest I've ever opened a captive's egg since I started collecting them. Let's see if we can do this one. I like the uh, amber um, wrapping they did on this. That's a nice touch too. Um, they've kind of done different eggs every time, which is fun. Um, different artwork on them. Same idea. Uh, gotta say, I love the fact that the slime is no longer an essential part of the toy. I think that's a step in the right direction. What do we get here? More Biosyn slime. We have a nice collection of Biosyn slime. Uh, black egg. See how the egg just 
you can you can use it for something. I have so many of these eggs at this point though. Don't think I need any more. Um, let's go ahead and see what the figure is. Oh, oh yeah, we got Dilophosaurus. Fun. Glad I've pulled two of them now, or two unique ones. So um, this is the second Dilophosaurus they've done. I like the uh, the frill color there. Not sure, not sure about the likeness on them, but uh, it's still a Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. Um, it's not perfect, but I like the color uh, and I like the frill. That's you know obviously iconic to the film. So uh, if I looked at this, I would say, oh yeah, that's a Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. So. Um, and does he stand up? Yeah, he stands up. Look at that. So uh, there's my first two dinosaurs I got from just two eggs. Uh, Dilophosaurus and Parasaurolophus. Um, let's go ahead and open up one more egg. You guys can hang out back here. And then we'll go open up some other stuff. Because we got we got a lot to uh, we got a lot to open up on this video. And I don't wanna don't want this to become an hour long of me opening up eggs. Um, I'm sure some of you would enjoy that, but there's a lot to uncover. So let's go ahead and see what this one is. I hope it's not a repeat, and I hope it's a new Dominion species. I'd love to open up Giga or Therizinosaurus. Tell you what, though, this plastic is not easy to get all the time. So um, just takes a little perseverance, and then you can usually get it. Uh, and again, I've, I've never opened up these eggs faster. Usually these take me a lot longer. So... I'm happy that uh, maybe they treat the packaging a little bit so they're a little bit easier to open. Inside, we got more biosyn slime. So much biosyn slime. What am I going to do with all this? Um, another egg. And more importantly, another figure. I like the three claw marks on this. Kind of Jurassic Park 3 esque, no? Um, what's inside? Oh, we got another Dilophosaurus. Um, so that's a repeat. That's okay bound to happen when you have a case full of dinosaurs right um so there it is looks like he's his uh his frills a little bent on this guy but i think if i just bend it back it'll be fine so another dilophosaurus um i think we should open up another one right we don't want to just keep getting repeats i want to i want to end on a high note with these eggs so um let me go ahead and grab another egg from the case and uh let's see if we can pull something different and Dilophosaurus and Therizinosaurus. Uh, that's the mystery, though. That's the mystery of these eggs, and that's kind of what drives collecting of them, right, is you never know what you're going to get. You know, one of the things about minis, which some people will say is good and some people will say is bad, is that you can, you can the Mattel minis, is you can actually see scan codes on them and then just pick the toy you want, which makes collecting them a little less frustrating, but it definitely takes some of that fun, arguably some of that frustration, out of collecting them. I've been collecting captives for a while, and this last wave, I wasn't able to get all the figures despite buying a bunch of eggs. So there's definitely, uh, it takes some perseverance to get the whole wave. So more slime, more egg. Come on, new species. Let's go, let's go. Let's see what we got here. We've got a <gasps> Giganatosaurus. I really wanted this one, so I'm super happy to unbox this one. Um, I love Giganatosaurus. I haven't even seen the movie yet, and I love this species. I love this figure. So there's Giganatosaurus in all of her glory or his glory. I'm not sure what gender the dinosaur is supposed to be, but you can see it pretty detailed, right? It's got the, it's definitely got the the base color and those black stripes, and it's got little painted eyes and teeth. So Giganatosaurus, there it is. New species. Also comes with the little battle token. Um, thrilled to be getting a new species for captives. Um, so we got Giga, Dilophosaurus, and Parasaurolophus out of four eggs. Let's go ahead and move on to another item. Which one should we do? Should we do one of the eggs and then maybe, yeah, let's go ahead and do one of these eggs. Let's do the big one. Oh. Before we get to that carrying case, you can see it has this cool lenticular eye. I don't know if you can see the eye. Yeah, you can see the eye. It's opening and closing. I love that. That is so cool. So nice little uh, artistic touch on this packaging. Um, I guess it, it kind of um, kind of want, makes you want to keep these uh, these these giant eggs. <coughs> these giant eggs too. So we'll go ahead and pull off all this plastic. It's kind of just like the the smaller eggs, just more plastic to take off. Honestly. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you could keep these eggs 
the the big eggs even with this lenticular on it. I don't know what you do with it, but what is it? this is this is <laughs> it's coming, guys. Just bear with me. It's kind of already over too. Hold it shut here. Okay, there we go. Plastics off. You can see the big giant captives logo on there. I love it. It's gold. It's already got cracks. Oh, cool. Look, it's all oh, okay. So this instantly became something I'll display now because it's got the iconic Rex logo relief back there. So that's instant, instant display. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. That's actually pretty easy to do. Um, looks like this piece cracks open like this too, if you were so inclined. And then it's got a bunch of stuff inside. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's got a lot of stuff inside. Um, let me see if I can rebuild this egg and, and then we'll set it back up. Um, there we go. Okay. Can it shut all the way? There we go. Popping it. Pops shut. Probably just goes right back on here if I had to guess. And then, yep, you got a nice little display egg. So what inside it comes with a bunch of stuff. Comes with some stickers that are really cool. Um, got Dilophosaurus and the Trociraptor pack, Giga. Got these cool Tyrannosaurus. Oh, I like these. These are like to scale with the three and three quarter figures, these little warning signs. So I probably even use these. I love the Quetzalcoatlus um one two so fun stickers nice glossy stickers these aren't cheap stickers like they come with the coloring book sets these are these are nicer stickers so you got the stickers inside looks like you get some sort of play mat oh cool you get a play mat inside that's made of plastic looks like it's a game board actually but you can go all around looks like you can go to malta you can see malta here there's the Biosyn base. There's the snowy area. So maybe, and then um, Kayla's plane. So um, different locations from the movie, it looks like. And then you can lay it down flat here and use your dinosaurs. It looks like there's rules over here too to play. That's kind of fun. I mean, obviously I'm not going to play it, but um, I can see myself as a kid really getting into the fact that there's a little game board in this that you can use your figures on. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, then there's this big old bag over here. I think it came with this too. Or maybe this was from one of the other figures. I don't know. Um, came with this bag with the Jurassic World logo on it, which I'm sure inside there's plenty of other goodies. Whoa! Whoa, cool. There's like an Ankylosaurus car. Look at that. Did not know there were Zoom cars in here. So looks like you get a Zoom car. Another captive's egg. Uh, oh, look, a little miniature case. How cute is that? A little case you can bring your dinosaurs. Oh, and there's a dinosaur inside even. Love that miniature case, that's fun. And then another egg. So more eggs to open, guys. Um, as well as, I think this is the exclusive dinosaur. Oh, cool, yes. Very excited about this one. So it comes with a little token. It's the Barry Onyx mechanical arm. That's right, you heard it right. There's a mechanical arm on this fella. So there's his mechanical arm. I love it. Very cool. So obviously some sort of prosthetic from the movie. Uh, he's got a little like harness that keeps it in place. So that's the mechanical arm Baryonyx. Looks like they, like they said, it's an exclusive figure that came with this set. Um, nice paint wash on him. So that's mechanical arm Baryonyx. And we also have two eggs, which of course I will try to quickly open here. Didn't realize I'd be opening so many eggs on this video. So I appreciate everyone's patience since I know it takes a little bit of time. So open that plastic up. Two layers of plastic on every egg. Two layers of security. Two, two <laughs> layers of packaging for me to struggle with. But hey, I've gotten pretty fast at this. You gotta admit. Um, what is it? More biosyn slime? We got a lot of this slime already. We could make like a giant slime pool at this point. Um, and then there's a figure, of course, inside of this bag. Hopefully it's a new one, I hope. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's Therizinosaurus. Oh, and it looks awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah, this one's cool. Ah, put the tail on. There's Therizinosaurus. This is like accurate to the movie, too. Um, more than that, Mattel toy even. It's got the beak colored painted. 
It's got the white stripe on the on the feathers. Um, and then it's got the claws and all that stuff. So uh, Therizinosaurus, another new species. We're striking that we're we're striking gold here with these unboxings. We got one repeat, but another Therizinosaurus. Or not another Therizinosaurus, another new species, which is Therizinosaurus. Let's go ahead and open up this last egg. Here we go. All right. And we got it there. Oh, yeah. And then right here, last piece of plastic. So close. So close. There we go. And then Biosyn slime. Should I do like a Biosyn slime bath video later? I'm just kidding. I would never do that. <laughs> um, and then a... Uh, the figure, ooh, and another new figure. I'm, I'm seriously striking, striking gold here. This one is gonna be Spinosaurus. Um, and before you get excited, I don't think that means Spinosaurus is in Dominion, but I could be wrong. So there's Spinosaurus, really wild color on this one. Almost looks like bones. Um, really, really aggressive wash on it, right? So there's Spinosaurus, another new figure in this wave. So Spinosaurus and Therizinosaurus inside that egg along with this um, Zoom car, this uh, Ankylosaurus, um, which is really cool. Looks like the Jurassic World Ankylosaurus. Um, oh, it's pullback too. Yeah, this kind of stuff is not stuff I traditionally collect, but I know kids get after this stuff, which is fun. Um, I love the little miniature case too. So in that egg, you got the Obviously, the car, the mini case, the game board, um, and then three dinosaurs, including that exclusive Baryonyx with mechanical arm, I believe is exclusive to this set. So, um, pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and put the game board back in the egg so we don't lose it. But I'll keep the other stuff out. Um, and then we'll move on to the carrying case. This this is going to be an epic epic unboxing. I kind of figured it would be because, they, again, a huge shout-out to uh, Toy Monster and Playwise for sending so much stuff to check out. Um, it's so cool, though, so I'm, 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 I'm stoked to keep unboxing it because there's just a lot of cool, fun stuff. Let's go ahead and open up the big, big case, right? Um, I, haven't, I don't have one of these. I know they've done a couple of these so far, um, but I've never gotten one. It looks like... Comes with an exclusive, a metallic Therizinosaurus, the display, um, something about the battle and on the go. It shows the whole wave on the side as well, including that exclusive. Yeah, looks like there's some cool things on the back. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. Um, and for everyone wondering where you can buy this stuff at, I'll definitely track down where you can grab it and uh, share the links. On my social channel i'll try to share them down below in the caption too because uh obviously i'm sure you don't want to track this stuff down too so beautiful big gold rex logo um and then you open it up inside and inside is a little insert then a bunch of cool scenes from the movie we have um the the, the forest the mountains uh the amber caves a little rv looks like malta over here more Malta down here. Look, that looks like the ocean floor where Mosasaurus lives. Um, more forests. We have the Biosyn Sanctuary, the crashed airplane. More Malta, a road. So just kind of a lot of imagery from um, that we've seen from the film, um, artwork and trailers and all that stuff. Um, but now I want to try. There's a version of this carrying case that has artwork from other Jurassic locations, which I really do want to track down. Um, now that I got this one, but the exclusive figure is pretty fun. It's an ex it's a metallic Therizinosaurus, and it's a cool new color of metallic too that um, I haven't seen yet. So um, very shiny Therizinosaurus. Look at that! That thing looks brilliant on camera too. I thought maybe some of the luster would be lost on the camera, but you can tell that's just very, very metallic. Comes with the little token too. They've done metallic figures before. They did, the, for the first wave, they did like a metallic T-Rex and a golden blue. So this is kind of a, and I think they did a, yeah, they did a bronze Indoraptor. So now I got this cool new metallic Therizinosaurus. That's, that's a lot of fun. So 
that's the figure that's exclusive to this case. Um, one thing I love about this case that I didn't even realize was um, it's got the tiny version of it. I love that. That's just adorable. Um, no idea where I'm going to put this stuff in the collection room, but it definitely deserves a spot. Because I mean, look at that. That is so cool. So that's the case. I'm kind of making a mess here with all my figures I've got out, but let's keep trucking. Now, this egg is a little different than the other egg that I unboxed. It comes with a super-sized figure, so a bigger figure than the ones we've been unboxing, which is pretty exciting. I believe there's three different ones, and they all look awesome. So I'm, I'm going to be happy with whatever one I get because, they again, they all look great. I won't spoil what three they are because I want everyone to be surprised. Same thing as the other egg. It has the lenticular eye. See, open and close. It's actually a different eye, maybe. Well, yeah, it's a different eye. Um, does it have the it has the Jurassic logo on the back too, which is fun. So it's really almost like a, a smaller version of that egg. Comes in two pieces, and this one I am gonna have to get my hands dirty. It looks like it also comes with some really nice stickers. Vancalosaurus. Looks like we got Demetrodon there. Um, Pyroraptor, Crossraptor. Really nice render of the T Rex too. Love it. Love the amber background. Some more stickers to add to my sticker pile. And then we have, this looks like the token and the insert. So I could find out what the figure is right now if I open this up. But all the all the, the uh, pieces are all in these little ketchup packets that I call them. But we got prehistoric sand in here. We have a bunch of biosyn slime. And then we have some amber. I love amber sold here. Um, oh. I think you can all tell what that is. So it looks like I got the Pyroraptor, um, which is it's a huge size Pyroraptor. So we'll go ahead and get that one out. I'm going to get the, the little, um, so yeah, Pyroraptor. And then the insert, I think the insert shows what three, yeah, it shows what three giant dinos there are. Um, the giant Baryonyx, the giant Pyroraptor, and the giant Giga. So it looks like I got... We have to dig this out of the slime. So I guess it's not a bad thing that I, oh, I dropped one of my eggs. It's not a bad thing that I got this, uh, this container out to catch some slime. So let's go ahead and open up this amber and dig this, dig this tail out. And I'm going to be a little bit of not fun and try to make as little mess as possible because I'm not trying to get all disgusting build the, building this dinosaur. Oh, this amber's, oh, weird. Cool, it like comes out in pieces. That's not too bad. It is like amber, whoa. Creepy. It breaks out like amber and there it is inside. I'll have to wash it off a little bit later because it's just a little bit slimy, but. Um, and then we got the sand here, which this looks like actual legitimate sand. Prehistoric sand and the little Jurassic crate. This is fun, this is different than the some of the others they did. Yeah, this is like, this, this is like a, it's sand. It's really hard sand, but it, it's still sand. It's almost like that kinetic play sand, maybe. Ooh, cool. So inside is the Pyroraptor head. Look at the detail on this thing. It's big. Ooh, cool. Awesome. I love it. And then we got um, the slime. The classic slime. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And there's a, oh, look at this slime. It's all glittery and stuff. So now you guys can actually get a look at the slime. See the glitter? See the translucency? See my pyroraptor carcass inside? Ugh. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that, get this dirty bird out of here. Ooh, yeah, this is wet slime. So this might be, this might be a little hard to, to get out without bringing this fella to the sink. Um, yeah, this is this is going to be tough to build on camera with, without going to the sink. Oh, my gosh. I got most of it off, though. Now it's stuck to my hand, though. This is the see. This is why I'm glad they put the slime in the baggies, because this slime is not fun to work with. Can I get it off? I don't know. I'm going to bring this over to the paper towel. All right, why don't you give me a second? I'm going to go wash this guy off, and I'll be right back. All right, we're all done with our Pyroraptor bath. I'm going to go ahead and move this 
slime to the side. Wow, that was messy, but definitely the best way to get that slime off. And now we can actually build the figure. Um, and there it is. Let me go ahead and uh, it's kind of still wet. Oh, still got some slime on it. Man, this slime is just everywhere. Ugh. <laughs> there was no escaping slime in this video. Um, there's the Power Raptor figure. This thing is huge. Look at this. You see how big this is? I'm going to do a, a comparison with the figure. Let me grab somebody. Um, but this thing is massive compared to the uh, the regular size figures. You can see it's it's quite a bit larger. Um, and it's got the detail to back it up. I mean, that is basically right there, 100% the Pyroraptor from the movie. Um, it's got the big giant wings too. We know the Mattel toy kind of clipped the wings of Pyroraptor. So we got Owen and Pyroraptor, really nice scale. I mean, maybe a little small, but, um, and obviously no articulation, but otherwise it's an awesome version of Pyro um, for sure to get. So, um, Probably the one I wanted the most, obviously, because um, it scales so well with the Mattel figures. And um, I love the feathers, detail in the feathers. This thing's awesome. So um, well worth it. And I think that was all that was in there, right? Just the figure and the stickers. Um, pretty cool, though. That's all I really wanted was the figure. So um, another fun release. Uh, some, all across all the board, we've got some really nice figures. Let's go ahead and close out this video with one more thing that hopefully isn't too messy, and that's this Dig and Discovery kit. I love the love the T-Rex uh, render on here. So um, on the back, we got the T-Rex. Looks like there's some more amber gel. That stuff wasn't hard to get out, though, so hopefully it will be like the same here. Look, you can see the props, the phone from JP3, the goat, Owen's motorcycle, the dog from Lost World, uh, someone's hat. I don't know whose hat that's supposed to be. Um, and then uh, the toilet. So, um, And this is an assortment that's been out for uh, last year, but never came to America. They did T-Rex and Triceratops. And for Dominion, they did T-Rex and Spinosaurus. Um, so I got I to gotta track down Spinosaurus now that I got T-Rex. Looks like inside there's a little fax sheet if you're into that. Oh yeah, it has a little story about the Jurassic T-Rex and then sort of how to build this figure. So we'll see if I need those instructions. Um, I'm actually gonna use this little, well look, this is a cool background. I'm gonna use this little tray as a, oh no, I can just do this. So really pull back this plastic. Kind of a self-contained dig kit. And you know what's cool about this is, you know, there's so many dig kits out dig kits out on the market right now that are, like, entrenched in rock and clay. I haven't seen anything like this that's, like, um, in amber. So kind of cool. And this knife, I think you can literally just, yeah, cut in here. Just like that amber um, gel that was from the other figure. Um, it's not, like, it's gel. See how I'm just cutting through it? And then the figure will, like, come out. The pieces will come out in chunks, which makes cleanup a little easier. I thought I was gonna have to do a cut and like fix this later. I can, oh, I can get the whole piece out. Oh, and I just got gel on the floor. Um, great. Uh, but you can, ah, I can, I can probably just do this, right? Just kind of get all this stuff out. That's not too bad. I might have to wash this one off too, but. Um, that's cool. This is this is easy. Uh, I remember the uh, last T Rex skeleton I unboxed on this channel, uh, or maybe not on this channel, but you know, for my collection. It took me like <laughs> all night to do, and this one's gonna take me a few minutes. Um, looks like there's a little piece inside of him too to get off, but um, it's actually a really detailed skeleton too. Um, look, it's looking like I'm making good progress here, getting all this gel off just with my hands. Um, not really having to even use the tool. Um, I guess if you really wanted to go at it slowly, you could use the tool, which is fine and fun, but obviously I'm trying to unbox this for everybody on the channel and be a little speedy about it. I'm gonna go, go ahead and go wash this guy off too. Just give me one second, I'll be right back. I'll go ahead and grab this little baggie too and see what's inside. All right, we are back from the sink. I actually found out that this baggie is... Uh, I didn't open it all the way, but it's the surprise inside. So we'll do that. 
Um, but I got the T-Rex all washed off. I'm gonna try to gently move my my amber, my mound of amber gel. Oh, and I still got some on the floor. Um, thank goodness you guys can't see off camera because it is a mess. But I wanted to show uh, how the this this thing, you can fully take it apart if you want. Um, and it, it builds just like sort of like the old dinosaur skeletons I used to have when I was a kid, which is which is fun. Um, looks like I got a little amber in his nose. I still got to get out. But um, these pieces just snap on and snap together. Uh, it looks like I forgot his jaw. Um, but they all fit together. Um, I just took it apart while I was cleaning it to get the all the amber pe amber stuff washed out. And then you get him on this stand. And he should be, should be good to go. I think he just, does he go like that or does he go like this? What do we think? Um, should, I, should I consult the box? Uh, looks like on the box they have him. They don't really show on the box how he goes on the display. So um, I feel like, let me see. Let's see, which way do we think is the best way to put him on here? Yeah, I think that feel, that feels the best way. So it goes on here really nice. One thing I really want to call that I think is cool is that this skull is like the spitting image of the Jurassic Park T-Rex skeleton. The spitting image. I mean, you can see it right over there. Um, you know, the T-Rex skull for Jurassic Park is a little stylized. Uh, um, and they use that same stylization for this skull. Um, it's three-dimensional. It's not like, you know, kind of squished 2D. It's it's truly a three-dimensional skeleton, and it's got, um, you know, semi-posable legs and posable arms. The arms actually pose, too, which I've never seen on a T-Rex skeleton. And you can articulate it, so it's got, like, kind of a kind of a weird, weird old, outdated pose, but works for the Jurassic Park T-Rex, which I think is fun. I love this thing, and I'm totally going to get the other ones, the Spinosaurus and all that. Um... Huh, I wonder what goes here. There's a little peg over here. I wonder if like the tail, I noticed that this thing kind of looks like a skeleton, but no, I don't think it goes in there. I don't know what that peg is for, but um, that's the uh, that's the skeleton. I guess I could look at this, these instructions and get a better idea. Um, the stand, eh, it doesn't really say what that peg is for. I guess it's for nothing. I guess we're maybe just, just for decoration. So. There's the uh, there's the T-Rex. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. This little baggie, it's small, whatever it is. Looks like I got a tiny little Owen motorcycle. Wow, that's really small. Um, oh, so there's all kinds of fun stuff inside. I, there's like a goat and everything. I want to get them. There's only a couple of figures though, so I'm really gonna have to hope I'm lucky. I'm not gonna keep buying the same figure to get more of these little mystery guys. But we'll got a little motorcycle. Um, but that's the T-Rex skeleton. Um, that's super fun. Uh, I don't even know what I could consider my favorite out of all these because there's so much cool stuff here um, between, you know, this bigger Pyroraptor figure is definitely a highlight. Love the display case. I love the miniature and big version of the display case. Of course, we got some great minis in our mystery eggs. We got Giganatosaurus and Therizinosaurus, new species. We also got some returning classics like Dilophosaurus and uh, Spinosaurus, um, as well as, you know, exclusive Baryonyx with uh, arms. So go ahead and take all these figures and put them in my display case now. Um, just an excellent assortment that we got from uh, Play Monster and, of course, or Toy Monster and, of course, Playwise Partners who uh, sent these over as well. So um, awesome job, Toy Monster. These toys are excellent. Love the eggs. Love the carrying case. I love it all. Um, I think these are going to be hitting Walmart stores and Meyer stores and a few other places. So, again, I'll go ahead and share links to where we can find that stuff once I track those down. But I think that's all I got. Again, I'm Tim with the Collect Jurassic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.